Ren and Realm Breaker, fantastic combo right there, is one of anything and two green for a four loyalty legendary planeswalker. Lands you control have the ability to tap and add one mana of any color. You can plus one and up to one target land you control becomes a three three elemental creature with vigilance, hexproof, and haste until your next turn it's still land. You can minus two and mill three cards. You may put a permanent card from among the milled cards into your hand. You can also minus seven you get an emblem with. You may play lands and cast permanent spells from your graveyard. Okay, first things first, run in Realm Breaker like the Realm Breaker. Second, that's static ability. This is basically Chromatic Lantern, except it comes with a bunch of other stuff and so aggressively costed to start a four loyalty. Let's break this down piece by piece. The plus one creates a speedy three, three out of one of your lands, except that speedy three, three has hexproof, so it dodges removal, and it has vigilance, so it attacks and blocks, because it stays a creature until your next turn, not until end of turn. That's some staying power right there. That means this three mana walker is going to drop down and go to five immediately to create a three, three untargetable blocker to protect itself. Then it's going to minus two, mill three cards, which is something you obviously want to be doing anyways, and you grab a permanent back to your hand, but even if you don't want to get a free three, three blocker before you use this minus two, you still get two activations of this before Ren dies. You can do this as early as turn two in a lot of decks. That's some absurd filtering for you early game in every format. And then if you just so happen to get Ren to seven, which isn't even that hard because the friggin' tree person effectively can start at five, the emblem you get makes your entire permanent base resilient to a degree that is laughable. This card is so pushed. I'm just gonna say what we're all thinking. Green Commander staple for the rest of time. Did you forget about that static ability of the Chromatic Lantern on a Planeswalker? Like, I'm having legitimate trouble believing this is real. It is real, but just wow. Even a little proliferate, this is like a permanent version of Yagma's Will, which is a broken ability, by the way, and the land has hexproof. Why? That's so good. I just keep flying all over this card's design like I'm playing pinball, and we haven't even spoken about its playability in lands decks. Goes right into Thalia and the Gitrog Monster, Lord Windgrace, Omnath, Locus of Creation, Why Not, Hezazan, Shaper of Sands. I'll be here all day just rattling off lands commanders, but we all know Renan Realm Breaker will be in that format forever. Three mana for this. Three. Three mana for a three, three hexproof blocker and five loyalty and eventually a permanent version of Yogmas will on top of being chromatic lantern. I'm going to get a nosebleed if I keep thinking about this card. This is pushed. It's powerful as heck. This is what a chase card looks like. The only single downside is that it isn't called Ren and 8, but honestly, I forgive the design team because combining Ren with the friggin' Realm Breaker works just fine for me. What if you wanted to play this in Oathbreaker with Life from the Loam? I'm legit going to pass out. I can't handle this card's power. Just one more time to really let it sink in from the top down. Three mana, Chromatic Lantern ability, just tacked onto it for no reason. Plus one, you get a 3-3 three, three with Hexproof that can attack and block until your next turn and run is on five immediately. You can minus two for filtering and card advantage, and you can minus seven to recreate one of the most powerful effects in the history of magic. What else is there to say? Ren and Realm Breaker is one of the best planeswalkers we've seen in recent memory, and I think we're going to be talking about this broken piece of nonsense for a long time to come. Just wow. Make sure to subscribe and like the video for more spoiler coverage as soon as it's out. Thanks for watching.